A. The lightest element, hydrogen, is difficult to place but is generally placed at the top left of the first group. B. Next comes helium, the second lightest, which is placed at the top right corner. C. Then the second row begins with lithium. D. Target sentence. The modern periodic table is based on Mendeloff's table. Sentences A through C have the spatial order, beginning with top left, top right, and then the second row. The target sentence introduces Mendeloff's table, while A through C talk about the details of the table. So the target sentence should be placed before A. Analysis. The target sentence talks about the Oort cloud, which is located outside the Cooper belt. The Cooper belt is old information, so we need to look for a sentence that talks about the Cooper belt. A says that our solar system stretches beyond the eight planets. B introduces the Cooper belt, which lies past Neptune. C talks about specifics of the Cooper belt. D says that something has never been observed, but must exist due to mathematical calculation. What is something? Clearly, something is not the Cooper belt because it was directly observed as indicated by the most popular Cooper belt object, dwarf planet Pluto. So, it must refer to the Oort cloud. Since D is a detail of the Oort cloud, and the target sentence introduces the Oort cloud, it must come before D. Answer, D. Chronological order is a way of arranging events according to the time they occurred. It is demonstrated by showing what happened first, what went on next, and what came about in the succeeding occurrences. Z. Thomas Kuhn is one of the most influential philosophers of science of the 20th century, perhaps the most influential. A. He then switched to the history of science, and as his career developed, he moved over to philosophy of science, although retaining a strong interest in the history of physics. B. In 1943, he graduated from Harvard, summa cum laude. C. He gained his master's degree in physics in 1946 and his doctorate in 1949, also in physics. Target sentence. His academic life started in physics. The target sentence talks about the starting point. It also introduces physics, which is elaborated in A. So the target sentence should come before A. Answer, A. A. Ludwig Wittgenstein began his studies in aeronautical engineering at Manchester University where his interest in the philosophy of pure mathematics led him to Frege. B. Upon Frege's advice in 1911, he went to Cambridge to study with Bertrand Russell. C. Within one year of meeting Wittgenstein, Russell was committed. I shall certainly encourage him. Perhaps he will do great things. I love him and feel he will solve the problems I am too old to solve. D. As predicted by Russell, Wittgenstein played a central role in 20th century analytic philosophy. Target sentence. Russell's insight was accurate. 
The target sentence talks about Russell's insight. So the sentence should come after Russell's statement. The word Russell first appears in B. In C, Russell makes a prediction. So the target sentence should come after C. Answer, D. Analysis. The passage describes the process of the birth of the sun. The target sentence talks about how the pressure in the core transformed hydrogen into helium. The key content word here is the core, so we need to look for a sentence that talks about a core. A talks about the collapse of dense interstellar gas and dust. B talks about what happened after the collapse of the interstellar gas, the creation of a solar nebula. C talks about the center of the solar nebula. Center is a synonym of core, so after C is a good candidate for the target sentence. C. At the center, gravity pulled more and more material in. Target sentence. The pressure at the center is so great that hydrogen atoms began to combine and form helium, releasing stupendous energy. D. So was born the sun. Answer, D. A. Constructing thousands of architectural structures and developing sophisticated concepts in astronomy and mathematics, the Maya civilization rose to a cultural fluorescence between 600 and 800 AD. B. Then, between 800 and 950 AD, many southern cities were abandoned and most cultural activities ceased. C. The Maya, never able to regain their cultural or geographical prominence, were assimilated into other Mesoamerican civilizations until the time of the Spanish conquest in 1530 AD. D. Target Sentence Originating in the Yucatan Peninsula, the ancient Mayan civilization occupied a vast area of Mesoamerica between 2600 BC and 1200 AD. Analysis The target sentence provides an introductory summary of Mayan civilization. A says the Maya civilization rose to a cultural fluorescence between 600 and 800 AD. B talks about what happened after A. C talks about what happened after B. Since A, B, and C are cohesive, the target sentence should be before A. Answer, A. A. About 5 million years ago, geologic movements created the land bridge between North America and South America that we call the Isthmus of Panama. B. While previously the gap between the continents had allowed a free flow of water, now the Isthmus presented a barrier that divided the Atlantic Ocean from the Pacific Ocean. C. This division set the stage for allopatric speciation among populations of fishes and other marine species. D. Target Sentence The formation of the isthmus had important consequences for global patterns of ocean water flow. Analysis the target sentence makes a general statement about the effect of the formation of the isthmus on the global patterns of ocean water flow. A talks about the formation of the isthmus of Panama. B talks about the effect of the isthmus of Panama on ocean currents. C talks about the effect of ocean currents on speciation. Since A talks about the formation of the isthmus of Panama, and B and C talk about the consequences, 
The target sentence should be placed after A. Answer, B.